Hi, I'm Paul Troncone, co-author of the book Cybersecurity Ops with Bash. In this video, we'll review how to use the awk command to extract columnar data from a file. One of my favorite commands to use for extracting columnar data is the cut command. But sometimes the cut command just can't give us everything that we need. Here's an example. In this file, you can see that I have things broken up into three different fields or columns, but each line is delimited a little bit different. The first line is delimited using spaces. The second line is delimited using tabs. And the third line is delimited using five spaces in between each field. So let's take a look at what happens if I try to cut field two from this file. I have to set my delimiter which in this case I'm going to use as a space. And then finally I select the field I'm going to use, which is two, and I give it the sample text file. You can see here we don't quite get exactly what we would want uh, because of the fact that cut really isn't advanced enough to handle the various different types of delimiters that are happening within this file. Thankfully, we can solve this with awk. So by default, awk looks at any white space the same and uses all of that white space as, a sim as the same delimiter. So it doesn't actually matter if my fields or my columns are broken up by a space or a tab character, awk doesn't care. It sees all that as white space and assumes that is the entire field delimiter. So to extract field two in awk, it's very simple. I simply use the awk command. I'm gonna use curly braces here. And I'm going to say print dollar sign two, which will extract field number two from the input file. And then I give it the file that I want to input. And you can see here it nicely extracts uh, field number two from the file. Again, that's because awk doesn't really care whether it's delimited by a space, multiple spaces, or tabs. It sees all that as white space and lumps it all together, together as a single delimiter. Awk also gives you the ability to pattern match. Let's take a look at another file. In this file, I have two columns or fields of data. The first column is IP addresses, and the second column is the operating system associated with that particular system. So let's say I want to extract any IP address where the operating system type is Mac OS. You can do that with awk. So to begin, we're first going to give it the pattern that you want to match. In this case, we want the second field, so dollar sign two, to be equal to Mac OS. And then if that field is equal to Mac OS, awk will execute whatever we have inside of the curly brackets. So from here, we're going to print the first field, which is designated by dollar sign one. Finally, we just need to give it the file we want to search. As you can see, it outputs any field one value that has a field two value equal to Mac OS. So here we can combine sort of the, the the power of both something like cut and let's say grep, where I can search and filter the data while at the same time only extracting the fields that I care about. Awk also accepts regular expressions for pattern matching. So let's say for a second I didn't actually know what field that the Mac OS text would actually appear in. I can modify this as follows. If I want to use a regular expression, I can just do forward slash and then put my regular expression pattern. In this case, it's going to be very simple, just Mac OS, and then another forward slash. So if Mac OS appears anywhere in the line, awk will then print out, in this case, field number one, as we can see here. So the output's the same. It's just a slightly different way of getting there. Uh, in this case, I'm doing it just with a very, very basic 
regular expression, and I don't actually need to know what field that Mac OS, my search criteria, actually appears in. The other thing you can do here as well is rather than print dollar sign one, which is the first field, if I change this to dollar sign zero, awk will print out the entire line. So here, if the line contains the string Mac OS, it'll print out the entire line, as you can see here. Awk also allows you to specify a field delimiter, which you can do using the minus F option. Here's another example. So on this file, you can see that I actually have a CSV, a comma separated value file, where the fields are not broken up by white space, they're actually broken up by a comma. In order to accommodate this with awk, we simply use the minus capital F option to set our field delimiter. So let's say I want to extract the second column of data, which is the username here. I'll do awk minus capital F and then provide it with comma, which is the field separator. And then I can simply print dollar sign two, which will extract the second column. And I have to give it the file name. And then you can see we've extracted the second column of data. So the minus capital F option is great for specifying uh, the sp specific field delimiter you might have. Now the field delimiter is something strange. Let's say it's not a comma. Let's say it's the uh, pipe. You can't just use pipe here because that's going to get interpreted by the command prompt. So you actually have to use something like backslash and then pipe to escape the meaning of it. And then you can use pipe or any of those special characters as a field delimiter. So there you have it, how to use awk to extract column or data from a file. Now awk is actually more of a programming language than it is a simple command. So we just scratched the surface here. Awk can be used for all kinds of different things. So be sure to check out additional resources and learn everything you can about that particular command.